Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasek with the 5 minutebookkeepingcom blog where we minimize bookkeeping and maximize profit. So today we're going over how to fix uncategorized income and expenses in QuickBooks Online. And this is a question that I'm asked a lot and it's actually a problem that I see all the time. It is, why do we see uncategorized income and expenses in QBO? So, in fact, you may not even know that you have a problem with your uncategorized transactions, so the best place to find those transactions are from your profit and loss report. So you might see uncategorized income and uncategorized expense, and of course with some amounts showing in your report. And be sure to check out the blog post that goes with this video because we go into a lot more detail on other various other ways in which you can find those uncategorized transactions. So let's just go over an example in QBO, how to run that profit and loss report and find those uncategorized items. So from the left navigation bar, we'll click reports. Then from recommended, choose profit and loss. And make sure that you have a big enough time frame here to find transactions. So I would look at it for uh, this, this year to date. And then we'll scroll down. And here we can see that we have uncategorized income and when we scroll further down, then we can see uncategorized expense. Now, if you want to see exactly what's in these accounts to be able to fix what's there, you just go ahead and click at the, the amount. And now you can see the transactions that are in the uncategorized expense account. And let's fix one. And actually, did you know that you don't have to delete your expense transactions if they have been entered to the wrong account? All you have to do is click on to open the transactions on any of the blue underlined here, go ahead and click to open. And this opens the expense transaction. And here we can see where it says account, or it might say category in your QuickBooks. And it says uncategorized. So we want to go ahead and change that. So we'll go ahead and change that to equipment rental. You On your QuickBooks, you'll change it to the right account. And then all you have to do is click here, save and close. So why are there uncategorized income and uncategorized expense transactions in QBO? Well, it all starts with your downloaded banking transactions. So when, uh, when your banking transactions are downloaded into QBO, QBO can't always figure out how to categorize a transaction, probably because uh, maybe it hasn't seen that transaction before or it may be a new vendor. Just click on Transactions, Banking, so I'm looking at the banking transactions and see here where we can see there are some transactions that are showing as uncategorized. So most people, especially when they're new to QBO, they don't really pay attention to this and they just go in and click add and unknowingly add these transactions to QBO to these uncategorized accounts. So what you need to do is actually tell QuickBooks what account to use. So you just click on the transaction and here where it says uncategorized, you want to go ahead and find the correct account from your chart of accounts. So in this case, we'll put it to fuel and we'll click add. Okay, so we just added that transaction to the correct account. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. We'll enter that to job materials and click add. For amounts received, it's a little bit trickier to fix these or to do these correctly because you need to make sure that you have first entered a customer invoice. So assuming that you did enter a customer invoice, what you need to do, or one of the ways in which you can do this, is that you would click to open the transaction and then click find match, and then find the, in, the corresponding invoice that goes with that customer payment and then save your transaction. If you haven't entered that customer invoice yet, you would need to do that first. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope that you will check your QBO to make sure that you don't have any uncategorized transactions. And I highly recommend that you check this or check your QBO on a regular basis and that you correct any transactions right away. Remember, five minute bookkeeping is much better than five hour bookkeeping. So remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out the full blog post that goes along with this video and we've included that in the description box below.